Good evening, kids of the kingdom. Pastor Tosh here with the kids crew. Give a shout out for Tigger, Jesus, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, and of course, Leo here. Um, we're having a blowout night. Uh, usually we have pizza party or tea and crumpets. We're having both. Um, little smorgasbord board here of our tea and crumpets. Um, and of course, Leo went with the pizza. I mean, he is a teenage Ninja Turtle, of course, so he's got his pepperoni pizza. Um, tonight's message is simple. We're going to get into a little complex, but it's really simple. Be there. Be there for one another is the lesson of tonight. A um, couple scriptures to put us in the frame of tonight's message is John 15, 12 through 13. Um, it says this, and this is Jesus speaking to the disciples. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Two powerful, powerful verses. Um, when Jesus is speaking this text in the Bible, he's speaking to his disciples and he's preparing them for his departure. Because he knows very soon that he's going to go away and that Friday is coming. This Friday that's coming up is Good Friday. And Jesus is trying to prepare his disciples in, in, ahead of that, knowing he's going to leave, um, knowing that when Jesus dies on the cross, his disciples are going to go through devastation this coming Friday. Then for three days, they're going to be in fear and grief. But then come Sunday morning, they're going to be filled with hope and joy. And when I think about the ups and downs of this Holy Week and what those disciples must have felt, that is life, right? <laughs> like that is life. We go through all kinds of experiences in life. Some are good, some are bad, and some are just in between. We get to experience all the emotions that come with that. Some of the ones that I just talked about. Devastation, hope, joy, happiness, grief, sadness. That's just life. That's what it's like to be human on this earth. And it's not a bad thing. It's experiencing life and everything that comes with life. And here's the cool part. And this is where we need to be there for each other. God created us to be in communion with him. And God created us to be part of a community of believers, a part of a community of this humankind, community of kids of the kingdom here, right? We need to be there for one another. We need to love as deep as Jesus loves us. We need to be willing to lay down one's life for one another. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to go to the cross and die as Jesus is, is going to be as we remember. What that means is we need to be there for one another. It means that we need to show up as Christ showed up for us. Throughout the scriptures, somebody came forth, Jesus stopped what he was doing and was there for that person. We need to be like that. We need to stop the video game when our friend calls us on the phone. We need to stop the movie to help a friend with whatever problem they might have. We need to give an afternoon up of what we may have wanted to do or planned to do so that we can support someone who needs a friend and is lonely. We need to lay down our life so that we don't miss living in the moments that life brings us. That we don't miss having an opportunity to have an experience with somebody outside of, of us, right? That's what community is. We need to be there for one another. Love as Jesus loves. Live as Jesus did. Focus on God, number one, and focus on loving anyone who comes in your path. Be there. That's what I take from these scriptures, is Jesus loved us so deep, and he's always there for us. Let's be there for each other. So be there. Stop the video game. Stop the movie. Give up that afternoon. Make that phone call. Draw that picture for a friend. Be there for one another. That's the community of believers. Let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, God. We thank you so much for this lesson, God. We thank you for this, this kingdom that we've been able to be a part of, God, and that we can we have the power to be there for others as Jesus is there for us, God. What what an honor that is that we get to be the face of Christ, the light of Christ, and all we have to do is say yes. Put our, pause on, put our life on pause for a moment. Lay our life down for a moment so that we could be there for somebody else, God. Thank you for that, God. And thank you for that. When we do that, we get, we get so much more back than if we had kept playing that video game. We get so much more back, God, with that community that you have provided us in this life, God. Help us to, to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and stepping out and helping people that and being there for people that we wouldn't expect that we would, God. Thank you, God, for that empowerment that you've given us tonight, that we can be there. We have that authority, God. In your precious name we pray. Amen. All right, kids of the kingdom, so be there for one another. You have the authority and the power in your life to be there for somebody that you want to be. So let's lay down our life to be there for somebody else. It'll mean so much more than what you can imagine. Like when we when we show up for other, each other, that means so much to each other. Um, so Kids of the Kingdom, this is our last Kids of the Kingdom. I just want to thank you uh, for the opportunity over the last year to be here with you, to commune with you um, through Kids of the Kingdom. It, it's truly been an honor for me to serve you and to serve God in this capacity. Um, it, doing this a couple nights a week and, and Kids of the Kingdom especially has just blessed my life. And, and, and I hope it's blessed yours too. It's blessed my life. I've connected with people um, that I haven't talked to in years. I've grown closer to some family and friends. I've grown closer to people that I didn't even know until this. So, so thank you for, for being here for me too. And, and I've just, I've really grown through these lessons and, and, and for doing this for a little over a year now. And, um, so thank you for that opportunity. It, it has truly been an honor and, and I didn't think about it. And, um, you know, people will make fun of me sometimes for not being that much of an emotional and in tune with feelings or whatever, but I'm a little emotional to sign off tonight. It's just been fantastic to sit here and, and, and kind of get in touch with, with God deeper, with you all deeper and, and that kid that we all still have inside of us. Like just get that energy from inside of you. Be a kid, hang out with the Tigger, hang out with Leo, reconnect with that childlike faith as a kid of the kingdom to experience life with fresh eyes all the time to help you stay connected to God and, and that joy and that happiness that only God can provide you. So thank you. It's, it's truly been an honor. And, um, although we won't be, won't be having this venue every night, we will be around. We'll be showing up on Facebook live at different times. We're here for you on Sunday morning. Um, for sure. So, so thank you again. It's been an honor. Uh, a couple announcements, uh, Good Friday service will be right here on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Um, and Sunrise service is Easter morning at 7 a.m. Uh, it will also be broadcast through Facebook Live. Sure. I is. think. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. We will now. We're doing it now. I don't know if that was a decision, but I just made it. <laughs> and, uh, and if you're in the area, we'll be down at shelter number seven at Gulfport Beach. Uh, it is the shelter by the big playground. Um, so if you're a big kid like I am, come for service and then, you know, hit a slide or two. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, from on behalf of Tigger, Jesus, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, and Leo, thank you for tuning in to Kids of the Kingdom. And for the last time on Kids of the Kingdom, I will bid you adieu. Be blessed, everybody.